I actually don't know who's going to a uh, dream hack that's particularly notable. Griffin, I have one question to ask. Are you okay? You know it. Thanks for uh, resubscribing for almost two years now. It's starting to finally get a little cold, which I like in general. But it means I gotta warm up my hands. Alright, alright. Understandable. Oh, you cheeser. That's all this character is, is just cheese. Yeah, Thirsty Gambler, I think the... I think it's a mistake how often people try to group him in with the Shodos. And while he definitely has some similarities, if only just because of the auto-turn mechanic, I feel like the character has almost nothing in common with uh, how you enjoy how you uh, play Sh Shodos otherwise. I mean, it's also worth noting that when it comes to, like, Terry stuff in particular, Like, so much of this is just quite literally uncharted territory. Like, look at that, that's... Oh my goodness. I got this forward smash on deck though. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of power wave as well. Something also I've been experimenting with is trying to do a beer reverse power wave out of uh, Nair so that you can then chase people offstage with back air. But I like the idea of uh, using uh, weak Nair at really low percents into a beer reverse power wave. That way you can then chase people with back airs at really low percents. Because doing it at low percents with Nair obviously isn't going to convert to much. But then you put them into a situation that hypothetically could create 50-50s where if you read the jump and then you back air them, they're basically dead. Or you can just go for back air. Um, I think Little Mac is like high low tier personally. The character actually gets uh, some pretty decent results. A uh, solo Mac got top 64 at SmashCon, and there are several little Macs in uh, Japan that regularly top 32 like Umaburas. This character is so sick. You are? Cool. I'm loving him. I'm actually planning to make him my series secondary right now. Like, he's really starting to flow nicely for me. Especially, his back air is... It's like Smash 4 or Ryu back air. Except he's got way more options. If you get hard reads on them pressing certain buttons in midair, you can just kill them with power dunk at almost any percent. Buster Wolf... Even at lower percents, it's really good for just calling out certain kinds of options from a large distance. The triple! Let's go! What do you think of Terry's stage? I think it's a lot of fun, personally. That's so good. Salem wants it legal? Salem wants literally anything that he can use to cheese people legal. It doesn't matter what it is. The King of Fighters stage should definitely not be legal though. As fun as it is. It changes the baselines of... 
Or rather, it changes the parameters of what will win you a match too drastically compared to all the other stages that are legal. And I feel like any stage that changes the game that much compared to all the other stages shouldn't be a legal stage. Because at, at some point we sit down and decide these are the parameters that we're deciding matter in the context of a competitive environment. You can't, you don't just then turn around and completely change that. Falcon will always be my main, but I am trying to catch up Terry, and how better to do that than to just go ham with him right here, right now. Alright. Alright, good game, Jagazilla. And yeah, Leo's a free agent now, which is kind of weird to think about. He's been Echo Fox for almost as long as I've known. Terry's so much more mobile than Ken and Ryu are when it comes to how you want to move around with them. I feel like uh, Ken and Ryu mostly just combo in place and then other stuff. Whereas Terry's a lot more freeform. And you can do some really crazy stuff with them. And you can also just rush people down a lot more both on and off stage. It really changes them. Um, in some ways, Tickles. He's definitely got some things that are super cheesy, like Power Geyser. Power Geyser's bananas. Understandable, have a nice day. My record in Falcon Dead isn't that bad. I think I've lost one Falcon Ditto in tournament since this game came out. Get that out of here. Silence. Ro Nairo's really happy about the Robin buffs. Well. That's a good sign. Um, honestly, we might lose the puff now. Before, I thought it was evenish. Evenish or slightly Falcon favor. But now it's even or slightly their favor, if I had to guess. Is the. Them being able to kill us so much easier, scary. Um, Falcon Dodo doesn't really get old, no. It's, it's a beautiful matchup. Now I'm really starting to think of uh, what my dream hack Atlanta bracket's gonna look like. I'm really curious. Yeah, I'd say it's my most uh, practiced matchup. It's one I'm usually pretty good at, but sometimes I get nervous and get played too aggressively. Which, it's really easy to do that. Oh my goodness. That move is so bonkers. <laughs> it's amazing, Kid Link. Like, I feel like most of Terry is fine or just good. And then he has a few things that are like uber cheese. Like that. Nah, son. I'm just going crazy with all this Terry practice because I'm trying to get him as good as possible as fast as possible. Because obviously my Falcon's been putting in a lot of work and I've been doing good with him. But the real challenge is getting a secondary up to that level. And for the most part, as much as I'm enjoying Terry, like I'd, I'm not getting bored playing him this much. I'm not at any point being like, oh man, I can't do this anymore, I need to go back to Falcon. 
I'm inclined to say Terry's pretty good, but it's hard to say anything for sure right now. He's only been out for a few days. And I try not to draw unnecessarily early conclusions. <laughs> God, that move is bananas.